So we are ready to put together our knife handle. And uh, I was working yesterday to set up how to press it together. And it turns out my vise is not large enough, especially since I also want to have another block of wood at the end of the knife. And so is this one not large enough. I even pulled out the old workbench. I had to manufacture these stoppers and repair the this block here it was coming off i broke a stopper in uh, in the process i found a railroad spike that works perfectly actually two of them would be amazing we only have one anyways it works but it's not ideal for uh, pinching together our knife it doesn't pinch evenly I have another block of wood I made a hole in it to accommodate this uh, tang and press everything together but it doesn't press evenly so after some thoughts I thought of uh, these are rubber bands that I have and it was there all the time simplest solution is the best solution so I, I set it up overnight let it be and uh, and it looked pretty pretty nice it compressed everything together to the point where it even left a mark there and it even pulled these, this bark even closer together, drying together, fitting better. So they have been compressed all night. And now I'm confident we have everything we need to, uh, uh, to proceed. So that's what we, what we will do now. I made this block of wood just to help with the pressing keep things together okay so we will go on now with the gluing the gluing process with the pine pitch that we made so for the next process of the uh, gluing together our knife handle we're gonna need the fire but uh, I'm also pretty hungry now so we're first gonna eat something fry us some blood pudding and Enjoy it with some jam. What we Paula? No jam. No. Ah! Okay, so uh, Paula is helping me to film this segment, and uh, we are ready to start melting the pine pitch blue that we made. You see, for it's very malleable. And I uh, will put it on the fire to start melting it. It's a very slow fire. It's just some heat. And this glue is only efficient. This glue is only efficient when it's in liquid form. That's when you can apply it. So we will do that. Put it in this cup here. Let it melt little by little. You do have to come closer. So, and uh, while it's melting, what, how we will apply it is that I will use this old toothbrush, take some, and put on every single uh, birch bark here. And to do that, we have to kind of start over 
putting them together so I will put them in order here Normally you would glue sections by sections, a bunch of these together and then you put them on the knife handle. But with this pine pitch glue I think I have to do this process a bit different and also I don't have the resources to glue them on in sections. I basically have to wait after each section has dried before I can glue the other one. I've never glued the whole handle in one step like we're gonna do now. But I feel pretty confident. Okay, we can cut here and I will uh, cut in again when we have uh, come a bit further in the process. Okay, so while uh, the pine pitch is uh, melting, one other process of uh, uh, putting the uh, pieces of birch together is that this pine will start to, uh, this pitch will start to solidify immediately the moment you take it off the heat. And to prolong the time I need to, uh, uh, put them together I will heat up this pot and I will also heat up the uh, the, uh, the bark and uh, once I have put everything I have glued the pieces together and put them on the handle I will put it, put it in the rubber band press and then back into the pot again and uh, let them all liquefy a little get warm it will not damage the uh, the knife the handle, the blade, it's not gonna be that hot, but uh, it will keep the uh, uh, the pine a bit more li liquidy and help the process of uh, getting together in unity and harmony. <laughs> All right, so I'll put the lid on here, and we still have to wait for the uh, the pitch. It's still half melting. Soon. It's possible I could already start. But we'll wait a bit more. There are some chunks in there. You see, the moment you take it off, it hardens I also put my put the blade in there to get all the pieces warmed up to help prolong the working time okay I think we are ready Right, let's start.
Okay, the knife handle is warm and nice. Just yep. So it solidifies immediately. But that's why we're gonna put it back in the pot later. So we'll take one by one, squeeze it in there, and then another layer over the whole thing. So it dries up immediately. But we expected that. will be thicker but hopefully it will all come together when we put it back in the pot and the press to work fast. And I hope we have enough pine pitch. Okay, I will cut out and cut back in again. The uh, toothbrush hair started coming off. Apparently it was too hot for it. enough pitch but it is glowing got pretty thick and we still have quite a bunch of uh, bark left so I'll try to and we also ran out of uh, pitch so I think we just have to do with it might be a smaller smaller knife but that should be okay also. 
let's see try to squeeze in this this last one doesn't have any glue on hopefully all right time for the press Then we'll put it back on the heat. this way. Fingers are sticky. That was one. was two I think two is enough so we will uh, put it back in the pot make a bigger fire and warm this thing up let the pine pitch liquefy again a little and get soaked in there. Get into those small holes. And I hope the handle at the end will not be too small for me. Because we still had a bunch of pitch le uh, bark left. Okay, we'll see in the pot. Let's cook the knife. toothbrush not ideal the brush started to come off hey there's a lot of pitch in this maybe I could take some back and uh, nah.
don't want too much flames. We don't want to uh, destroy the things we have in here, the knife. We just want to heat up the pot. So I think this will do. Okay, we'll come back in a moment. Fourteen pieces left. I hope it doesn't make that big a difference. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's about one centimeter. It's quite big. a knife guys we are cooking a knife it's getting hot in there hope the rubber bands are gonna be okay maybe I should put something in there to elevate it from uh, from the cast iron. You don't want contact with the rubber bands and the metal. That will do it. <clears throat> yeah, we don't want any flames. Just the smoldering heat. So it flamed up, I elevated it, and I also discovered that one of the rubber, rubber bands had broken. Luckily I have more, so I will put that there as well. But it is working, it's melting. Let's just put this rubber band there. I don't know if it was the heat contact with uh, the iron pot that broke the rubber band or if there was already a cut. But these are tough rubber bands. That side. What? Uh, I think it touched the knife. Anyways, let's do it African style. Again, touch the knife. Be more careful. So I'm putting my thumb it under my thumb yeah not easy 
squeeze it under. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful, man. Okay, let's take uh, this one and we will avoid the blade. All right, it's a waiting game. So it's melting a little. I'm just turning it, rotating it now and then. The rubber bands are like popcorn in there. But it is melting fine. Very nicely. Hopefully the remaining rubber bands will hold up. I don't know how long this will take. I guess it's a evaluation thing. Have to see now and then what it, how it looks like. Okay. It is melting. Oh, look at that. This was not sticking up this much before. So it is pressing together as it liquefies between the uh, the bark. And one other thing I did wrong or wrong, I thought I would have enough pine pitch, but I uh, put pine pitch around the whole thing. And then you could see here, I started to realize that I wouldn't have enough. So then I started to put just around the tang itself and uh, the distance I thought would make a knife handle when I cut away the uh, the material to sort of shape the uh, the handle so yeah but it is pressing together and I think we will bake it a bit more Okay, I have one more rubber band. There were. Oi, 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 oi! That doesn't look good. Okay, hopefully, it's just smoke. Okay, it's really baked now. There's a. It's melting nicely, the tang is coming out, very good. I'll put that other rubber band on there and then I think we're done. Gonna let it uh, dry. That way.
Okay. So, this is what, uh, hey, this is what a uh, cooked baked knife looks like. We're gonna let it uh, dry, not dry, cool down, well, dry also, overnight. Or maybe should I plunge it in the water? No, let it cool down overnight settle and tomorrow we'll have a look at it <laughs>